People are going to think you're meditating. What's that? People are going to think you're meditating. Who's going to think I'm meditating? Oh, we're, on, we're live? Oh, thank you for telling me. <laughs> I was just looking that this morning. I said we are hoeing at, at 11 a.m. We are hoeing live at 11 a.m. Yay. And then I was just trying to delete that post, but somehow I can't delete it right now. So there you go. We're going live at, uh, on, the, on the studio webpage. And we are going live on Instagram. And we are going live on uh, Facebook right now. And on YouTube, I think, too. So I'm just, I'm working away on my thankful. I've been sitting here listening to a book, uh, listen to an audio book, kind of quietly, because I don't want to, I don't want to bug Angela. But she says she can't hear it. So I've got everything. So I'm really working on the background on this thankful runner. But today, one of the things I want to do is I want to do a few of the leaves. We put some red, just one little dot of red in there. So we're going to need some more red. And I want to choose the color for the... And I think I'm going to choose this, which is Sweet Sister Sparks and Embers, which I think we are out of. So I'm sorry, folks. This is, this, I, I think, and we don't have any more Sweet Sister yarn. We have a new yarn coming in, a couple of new yarns coming in, but we can't always get the same, we can't always get the same one. So I'm just going to try this one. Cut it here. See what I get when I get the variegation. All right, so I've been thinking that I want to get in here and use the orange. What do you think, Lorna, of the orange? You think it's going to... I don't know. I have to see a little more, I think. Okay, really yeah, because you can't really tell the beginning. It's hard to tell. We could do green, too. It's like a great big mouse on the other side of the wall there. I can <laughs> I can hear it. And I do know the sound of mice living in an old farmhouse. We're always after the mice. We're doing good this fall. Haven't caught one yet. And all the traps are set. Rocco caught a mouse. Did he? Where did Rocco catch the mouse? In my studio. Aww. And it broke my heart because the reason why we got a rag doll is because they're supposed to be really docile. <laughs> yeah. And not that docile. No. Rocco's not docile. Like, just not, I don't think. He's a cat with... All right. I think it's going to be good. <sighs> I think it's going to be good. I think it's pretty. I'm just going to thicken... I'm going to add a little bit more here because I'm almost adding too much. But that's sometimes what you got to do when you're lettering. Is just you got to really fill it out. Okay, I'll go over here to the L. So remember when we started these lives so many years ago, uh, we started with Grace, and I was working on a little rug, and it just said Grace, because it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. And here we are now, all these, like, over two years later, still everybody dealing with COVID, I'm still masking, you know, a lot of times. When I go out, I go to the grocery store and stuff. And here in the studio, I mask a lot. Uh, I've got to make sure I'm doing this right. So you got to make sure that you're actually writing the letter, you know, again. Oh, that looks lovely. That is so pretty. So any any sort of rustic coral, uh, if you ordered, uh, so many of you, thank you, ordered our maritime collection. I really appreciate it. We are going to start, uh, we've, we're, the sale is finished, but it's still available for $219, which is a great deal, I think. Oh, do I have room there? Thankful F. Where is it? I put that. Look at that. I got the yellow in there by mistake. See, that's what I do when I'm doing stuff like this, because you can't, you can't see. Like, you can't see it good sometimes, so I lost my you. I lost my you. It's kind of like losing yourself. I'm going to check the comments. Are you guys talking to me at all today? Just see if we're live on Facebook here. Uh, I don't see it, but i got to just see what people are saying. There we go. What are, we, what are we saying? Hi from Shawville, Quebec, says Carol Bresloff. Hi, Carol. Uh, on my deck at Hubbard's watching, says Susan Delaronde. And just a lots of hellos so far. So what's our question for today? 
Uh, let's think now. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we've been thinking a lot about thankfulness. So uh, let's say uh, what what's happening this fall that you're thankful for? So what's happening in your life this fall, this autumn, se September and October that you're thankful for? And then on the website, we're going to check here and Thursday Lives. And we are live on the website. And we've got some comments there, too. Good morning, Lynn, from southeastern Alberta. Wonderful way to start today. She's up early. Trey Bell Calaire. Thank you, Danielle. Um, and Mary says hello from New Glasgow and someone else from Quebec. So that is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm so glad that you are all watching. So what are you thankful for this October? Because that's what we're really thinking about is thankfulness. And I think throughout the year, I'm going to try and bring you... Oh, what have I got done here? Honest to goodness. I don't know. Like, where is it? This is the F... Huh. I got myself all say, mixed up. Happy anniversary to Lucille. I've been married 50 years this fall. Lucille has been married 50 years. Well, isn't that wonderful? She's very thankful. She is very thankful. So that's what you're thankful for this fall, Lucille? Probably your husband is thankful too. And your children? It's lovely. Good for you guys. Not everybody makes that. And it is an accomplishment when you do. It's a beautiful thing. So you can see I'm struggling a little bit here because I'm having trouble. I wanted to outline this because I wanted more colors in the runner. But you can see that it is sometimes a little bit of a struggle to, to get it right. And I think what I've done is I put the yellow in the wrong places. <gasps> That's it. I got the puzzle solved. I got the puzzle solved. Or she thinks she does. Gonna look. It's October eighth, and I want to tell you what your hood fibers in October eighth. And here at the studio, we are having a special tea, and we're having special pumpkin cookies. If you come on that day, and we're hoping to have some music. I'm not sure if we've got that organized yet, but. Uh, there are five stores in northern Nova Scotia, Sisterhood Fibers, Gwen's Handmade Creations, Your and Company Wentworth, Lismore Sheep Farm. Hello, Jillian, if you're watching from Lismore Sheep Farm. And Woolies of Upper Brook Farm and Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio. And we're having a yarn crawl. So that means that you can take the day and spend driving around the north shore of Nova Scotia, which is beautiful. And I'm going to pull this out because we need more yellow in there. And uh, come to our yarn crawl. So that is October 8th. If you're in the area or heading to this area during that time, that will be a great time to visit us because we'll have good treats. So I ordered the cookies for it. And I said, well, I'll order three dozen. And then I said, well, I looked at Terry. And I said, we're going to eat a dozen. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I said, I'll order four dozen. And then when I called to make the order, I said, give us five dozen. Because I thought, well, they're really good cookies. We're going to want to eat quite a few of them. So we got five dozen cookies coming. Carol, who makes our oat cakes, is making them. And I asked her to make pumpkin cookies. And maybe with some pumpkin seeds on the top of them. I thought that would be tasty. Lorna, you wouldn't like those. No. I'll Lorna, pass. Lorna's <laughs> off. I'll, I'll eat hers. Yeah. She wants like a chocolate chip cookie or something. Okay. I think I got it. All right, so I'm going to switch this around now, and we're probably going to be finishing finishing this up next week. Okay, boys, watch out. I'm going to slide back. Um, oh, I think that's really pretty, Lorna. I don't care pretty, what you say. It's hard I'm, to it's glad, hard, I'm glad it's I didn't. It's hard to tell in the phone. It you is. You have to take the phone away and look. And look. I'm glad I didn't listen to you. I'm going over with my red. Now, this is just four ply briggs and a little. Did I say not do it? I didn't say not she do it. She didn't say not do it. No, she did not say not do it. She did not say not do it. So you're probably interested. To last week, we had a bad connection. And a lot of people said that, that we had a bad connection last week. And that's okay. Sometimes we do have bad connection. I don't know what was going on. Angela was home. She wasn't feeling good. Mary was out. It was kind of a crazy day. 
And you know, the thing I have to do is not get excited when this comes on, because I find I get too excited and I get nervous and then everything goes to pot. So I'm just trying to just be on and just be relaxed and be myself. So um, I got nervous. And I was trying to explain to you what I was doing with the piece of washed linen, and you no one got it. So we're gonna we're gonna add a couple of leaves in here, and then we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna show you. Are we getting low on time now, Angela? Or we got a little bit of time left. We're at 11 minutes. Oh, we got lots of time. So I got this color here. So what are we doing for the leaves here? I was gonna put some wine in. I'm gonna try this rust. This is coral carrot i'm not sure i like the name of that i don't name them all so i'm just thankful so there's always someone naming things but i'm going to try this little coral carrot on one of the leaves let's see how that looks pretty though oh you like this one do you lorna I love, you know me i like big chunky, <laughs> I like big chunky yarn <laughs> okay this is the coral carrot angelo we got something we're brewing don't we but we're not telling them yet we got a couple of things we're brewing, but we're not talking about it yet. Yeah, we we're got just, a couple of really exciting things. We do. We got a couple of really beautiful things happening at the studio. And I just, I, I don't know. I want to tell you, but it's like I'm, I'm the hopeless because if I bought you a Christmas present, I want to tell you what it is, right? <laughs> That's just the way I am. Or sometimes I'll buy my kids a little present and I'll give it to them in July. Oh, here, I was just thinking about you. I bought it for Christmas, but... And then at November, I'm like stuck. I haven't got anything <laughs> for them. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some exciting things going to happen in the studio this fall. And, and Angela and I are working really hard on them. And I've done my work on them. She's working really hard on them right now. And, and I've got more work to do on them. Now, I think I like that. I'm worried it's too much like this. But I think it's okay, you know. We, we're going to have to bring in another color in here. Uh, but I think this gold will not stand out enough, will it? Like if I put that gold in a leaf, it's, is it going to stand out enough? So what's everybody thankful for? Let's see. we got a no sense, no sense asking you if we don't look. I always look at all the, all the comments afterwards and, and have a peek at what you're saying. So for sure, people are thankful for. I'm thankful because of the change in seasons. I see things around me differently, says Debbie. I'm thankful that we are all okay and that you are okay there after Fiona. And you know what? We're really thankful too. And I'm I'm really sad about the you know, the people in like beautiful Port of Basque who had just such an awful night. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know in our community of Truro and I read about the local winery who lost a lot of their crop and the pick to a lodge, lots of a lot of you know, they're rebuilding. Yeah, and PEI, so I mean, but it's, PEI, but it's streets yeah, things. you know, it's been it has been rough. Um, Connie Hickman LaRue says she's thankful the people are fl of Florida are almost through the yeah. Hurricane yeah. Ian, you know. Um, and someone's saying, Don't tease us. Look, we have to tease you, we have to tease you. That's our job. We have beautiful things that are going to happen here this fall, things that you know, 20 years. who watch this and share this and support the studio and buy the Maritime Coast, some really, really interesting things. Um, it's exciting. And I'm 83, Angela. Give us a little hint. Um, how do I get back to the other comments? Thankful for my sleeping grandson on my shoulder. Aww. So there's like, we click on the comments. Mm. And yeah, I can refresh and. Yeah, maybe if I refresh them. Yeah. But that's sweet, Kimberly. I'm thankful for a reboot each season. Yes, Judy, I get that. Uh, I get that. And thankful for the fall color starting today. So yeah, I think, I think we're all thankful for the fall colors. You know, we haven't had any frost yet, but we've had fall colors, which kind of surprises me. Okay, I need another color. I need like, I need something to work with this orange and the wine, I think. So this is, this is the wine. 
I think this is beetroot, this color here. So I'm going to try some beetroot on the other side of this. I need to try this gold up here to see if there's enough of a difference. And I don't think, well, what do you think? What do you guys think? I think it stands out enough. I might stand out enough. No, it's going to it's gonna get lost. What's going to happen is going to look like the background. It, it almost stands out enough, but not quite. So we've got a few minutes. So I want to go explain to you what I'm doing. And those of you who watched the video earlier this week understand that I did finally cut into my Maritime collection. I hope you guys don't have that problem when it comes up for you. That when you get your Maritime collection in the mail, um, we're sending them out like as fast as we can. When you get your Maritime collection in the mail, don't be like me. Just cut right into it. All right. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to need another color there. I don't know what the color is. So I've got to figure that out. I might have it in here. It might be in my Maritime collection. Okay. So what I'm doing here, I'm making a floor mat for the door as you come in. So I wanted something bright and colorful. So I used all, I cut into my Maritime collection here. I used all the different colors. And what I did was I washed this piece of linen. I told you that a woman came to the studio and she said, if you wash the linen and all the wool is washed, which all dyed wool is washed, uh, it's been through, you know, the hot water, that I could wash my linen. Norma, saw, Norma sewed the binding on for me. And I washed all the wool. The wool's all washed because it has been dyed. And I'm hooking all, It's this is all... Uh, pretty much all my maritime collection and some some hand dyed that i had around oh i wonder if that would work so I'm just out curious, there when you wash your linen yeah you just hang it to dry uh like i just want to become all wrinkly uh no we put it i put it in the dryer okay so right you, so you can put it in the dryer i did i put okay. it in the dryer and um i i'm gonna take that out there too because maybe there could be a green leaf sorry i'm between two things i'm thinking of that other rug so what I'm doing now is I'm filling in. So I took, I just made a bunch of squares and circles, no real pattern. And now I'm just hooking the background on this and I'm hooking the background black because we're, we're hopefully going to be able to wash this rug, right? That's the plan Fine. that we're going to be able to wash this rug and we're putting it by the front door of the studio when you come in the door. I know it's going to be scary. So <laughs> I don't know about the winter, yeah. but I, I'm thinking about the winter. I'm thinking about it. If it's washable, why not? Right? Right? We see. Anyway, and I think I might even start using, if I thought about those mats that I made last year for rebooting tradition and start using those by the back door even. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. By the door. I mean, that's what that's what we're doing. So now I'm just hooking. So this is all washed linen, all washed wool, and we're going to try and wash it in the, wash, the rug in the washing machine. Don't do this. I'm counting on it working because I don't know that it's going to work. But this woman came to the studio years ago and she said she does it all the time. And some of you have commented that you're doing it. So let's go out and just see what we got for color there. Maybe that. Maybe a hand dyed. Oh, what about the citrus? In my collection here. Citrus in your hand. Well, yeah, I do have a citrus, but I have a different citrus here. So that's the citrus from the Maritime Collection. So I'm going to go try that. And for the thankful runner. So this looks very much the same. The citrus. I'm going to see if the citrus will work. Because some leaves do turn this color. Yeah, I like that. This is the citrus from our Maritime collection. Right here, it's coming up nice. I'm using two strands at a time. the other day it's not relevant to anything we did before but I loved what you pulled out the other day um, I went out and I saw it on the thing so we got that wine oh, the dark green I don't like in there this coral will work in there coral will definitely work so this is our sweet coral so I'm just gonna try that Yeah, I love this color, but I don't love it for this rug. That's fair. This is a new color. This is this is not on the website yet, 
So I don't know what it's called, but that's a new color. And I, this works in here, though, doesn't it? So I'm going to just use it. I'll, sh I'll tell you what it is next week. It's not on the website yet. It's a new color that Angie just dyed for us. Sorry. I know I should be saving that for, like, next week or the week after. But come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do it. I'm going to put that in because I think that will look really good. Okay. So that's it for this week. Uh, remember, our yarn crawl is on October 8th. Uh, our Maritime Collection is still available, and I'm going to wrap you up by bringing you out to see the Maritime Collection and where we're keeping it in the store. And, oh, that's perfect. You're doing something with Angela? I'm doing something, something with Angela? Did she say something about what Angela did or something? Oh, what Angela's doing, I can't tell that yet, Lorna. No, no. Oh, no, the, the naturals on the table. Oh, the naturals on the table. Yeah, let's show those. Those are really beautiful. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> thank you. I know, you get into your rug and then... The <laughs> I know, I know. I get into my rug and I'm, I'm going back here. I'm going to put this citrusy... I'm going to, I think the citrus color is really great, but I just think there's too much of it. So I think we're just going to go with this, this deep hand dyed here. Oh, got the wrong one. Okay. I think this is coming along really nice. It's going to be like a nice fall runner. And we'll probably finish it up next week. I'm going to work on it some this week. And we are going to finish this runner next week. For sure. And then we're going on to another project that we can work on together. Red. I need another red too because I'm going to fill that in with a different red. So Angela brought these colors out the other day. And I thought they were really beautiful. I'm just going to put this stuff away. Um, when I went out, she had, I don't know, someone called Angela, was it? And you had all these out? Yeah, she was looking for textures and colors uh, to hook a sheep. Yeah, so if you're hooking sheep or if you're doing anything with the naturals, this is uh, our Koigu Loopy. It's really beautiful yarn. And then we have natural hand spun. And I don't think these are, uh, these are on the website, but I don't think Mary had a chance to put these on the products, on the new products, because... She would not have known right. about this. Yeah. yeah, and she's just coming back. And then there's our Koigo, Koigo in natural, and, of course, our fleece cones if you're hooking sheep or any naturals. We have lots of gorgeous naturals. But come on out here, and this is where we're going to wrap up today in our dye kitchen. And these are our colors beautiful beautiful colors of our from our maritime collection and they are available individually on our website so um, I'm just going to go over them we've got Folly Mountain Spruce we've got Harvest Saucy Ruby Northern Sky Sanctuary Blue Island Green Delphinium Blue Citrus Sheltered Water Wild Linen we've got Poppy Red we've got Evening Shadow Buttercream Melon Advocate Blue Gold Blue mountain green moonlit blue moss underfoot that's our poppy again uh, pearly brunswick fir and sweet coral and uh, so those are our these are our this is our collection i'm still using it and having fun with it now what i want to do like i wanted to play with just the whole collection so when i was doing doing uh, that rug in there it was great to sort of see what colors look good together. But now what I want to do is I want to integrate it with all the yarns that I already have. And that's when that's when the beauty happens, I think. When when you take this and put it next to a slub. or um, And we have a big order slubby coming in this week. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. I know that rug hooking changes people. And I know that... It opens our heart to each other because that's what rug hookers are like. So thank you, and I'll see you. Take care. See you next week.